In this video, I'm going to talk about food processing and food engineering using the example of an earthen pot. Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I'm Ari Bereshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make easy and simple to understand videos, lectures and tutorials for the students who are pursuing a major in food science and food technology. So if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss any new upcoming videos. So today's topic is food processing and food engineering. And before I jump into these, into these topics, why do you think that it is important to study to understand these two concepts? Why do you have to study? What is the significance? What is, is there any kind of relevance of food processing and food engineering with the food industry or the food technology? Yes, for a food technologist, it's very important to understand food processing and food engineering because these two terms are associated with how some kind of raw material, some kind of raw food products are converted into some finished food products and how that conversion takes place. What are the machines and the equipments that are used in the processing of a food product? So this is why it is very important for a food technologist or for a food scientist to understand food processing and food engineering. Now that you know the significance, the relevance of food processing and food engineering. And before I start uh, into uh, explaining food processing and food engineering, it is very important that you should know food science and food technology. And why is that? Because food science and food technology are some of the basic terms that are, that are actually very important to understand food processing and food engineering. Now, if you're familiar with the food, uh, food science and food technology, that's okay. You can continue with this video. If you are not familiar with food science and food technology, you can watch my video on food science and technology uh, that I made using the example of a Hot Wheels track. I explain food science and food technology. It's about a 10 minute video. I will link that video in the description. Now, assuming that you have already understood food science and food technology, let's jump right into today's topic. And first of all, I'm going to cover food processing and then I will cover food engineering. So first of all, what is food processing? See, food processing is the conversion of some kind of raw product, some kind of raw material into some kind of finished product. That's actually very simple. And food processing can involve a lot of operations, a lot of functions that convert some product or change some kind of product into some kind of another product. I have an earthen pot right here and the objective of an earthen pot is very similar to the objective of food processing. And why is that? I will explain in just a bit. Uh, in food, in, in an earthen pot, we pour some water in the earthen pot and what happens after a few time, after a few minutes or a few hours, the water gets cooler and uh, it also, the earthen pot also protects the water from the outside environment. Now I'm not trying to uh, go deep into the science of an earthen pot. But what I'm trying to just come in. What I'm trying to uh, emphasize is on the purpose of an earthen pot. In an earthen pot, we basically make the water more appealing for the consumers. That is the primary purpose. And in the food processing, we also adopt some kind of functions. We also adopt some kind of operations that whose main purpose is to make the food more appealing for the consumers. Now that appealing part can be, uh, can have a lot of meaning for the consumers. Appealing can be in terms of taste, appealing can be in terms of uh, the nutrition, appealing can be in terms of the visual appeal, the how it looks, how it is packaged, and that totally depends on the consumers. Now, all of these functions, now there are different functions in the food processing. Food processing can involve like heating of the raw milk, food processing can involve mixing of the raw ingredients, food processing can involve dicing of meat, cutting of vegetables or fruits, and all of these different operations come under the domain of food processing. And all of these operations, if you look closely uh, in all of these operations, they have one single purpose, they have one uh, common purpose. And that common purpose is to make the food more appealing for the consumers. And in an earthen pot, the if you look closely on the objective, if you compare actually the objective of the earthen pot and the objective of food processing, you will find out that both of these purpose are actually same because in the earthen pot, we are also making the water, which is which you can say as a food, it's a food. Uh, we are making the water more appealing, more cooler and safe for 
a consumer and in the food processing we are also making a product safe or appealing for a consumer so this was the food processing part and now we are moving on to the food engineering part if I have to explain food engineering in one line, then food engineering is uh, food engineering involves the equipments and the machines that are used in the food processing of a food product. Now, what does this mean? This basically means that food engineering involves the study of some kind of engineering concepts and some kind of operations that are involved in the processing and that help to achieve the purpose of the processing. This means that some kind of machines, some kind of equipment, some kind of instruments are involved in the processing of a food product to make the food product uh, more easy, more easier to be produced, to make the pro whole process more efficient, more easy or more faster. And in an earthen pot, you will say that, okay, Arib, uh, now how will you define food engineering in terms of an earthen pot? So food engineering in terms of an earthen pot is really very simple. If you look closely, uh, on this earthen pot, we have a uh, tap or you can also say stopcock, but in simple words, we will stick with the, the water tap. So this water tap acts as an equipment. This water tap uh, is basically present here so that anyone can collect water from this tap, uh, water from this earthen pot very easily. And uh, if this wasn't present here, then we will have to open the lid and we will have to take out the water using some kind of utensil and that would be burdensome and that is why we have fitted a water tap down here so that water can be collected easily now this water tap is an equipment used with this machine to make the process of pooling the water or taking out the water more simple and more easy or more faster and again this whole earthen pot this whole vessel that contains the water is also acting as a machine because uh, this is keeping the water cooler. This is, uh, you can also say that earthen pot is also a kind of food processor. Obviously, it doesn't involve some kind of hi-fi, high-tech uh, technology. But yes, you can also say that this is some kind of food processing happening over here because some kind of minimal change is happening in this earthen pot. And this vessel is acting as a kind of food processor to keep the water cooler and to keep and also this vessel or acts to act as a protector of the water to keep the water protect protected from the outside environment to protect the water from the spoilage from some kind of my, uh, microorganisms so the water tap or you can say the lid and the whole vessel are the equipments or they are the machinery that are helping the food processing to be uh, completed much faster in a much simpler or you can also say in a more efficient way so to sum up the whole lecture in just one or two lines food processing is the conversion of some kind of raw material uh, by using some kind of processes some kind of uh, equipment some kind of machineries to make the product more appealing for a consumer and food engineering is simply the equipments the study of the equipments and the study of machineries that are used in the process to make the process to make the production process more easier, simpler, efficient, or just faster. So this was it for today. Like this video if uh, you got the concept, you understood the concept of food processing and food engineering. And let me know in the comments if you have any kind of doubts or queries or questions. I'll make sure that I answer all of these, all of your questions, all of your queries. And smash that subscribe button right now and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming lectures and videos. Thank you, class dismissed.